brace yourself! Can I do it? Can I do it? Take this! Stay out of my way. Get out of here. Why don't you tell us your plan, Fenric? Well, it's nothing great, but I'll need to test the waters first. I made a vow to myself. I'll destroy every human being. For myself. For my family. For Miss Artina. Judge Nemo. Do you think that's really the most righteous thing you can do? Do you think Artina would be pleased with your actions? Miss Artina? That's right. Didn't Artina save you at the cost of her life? Would a woman like that seek vengeance? Don't you think this would only disappoint her? Disappoint? Miss Artina? How is this happening? Fen Fen's being nice! This is unbelievable, Mr. Fan Fan! I'm more surprised that he was actually able to carry on a conversation with Malice. Judge Nemo, you can hear my voice, can't you? You're purposely trying not to see the angel in front of you, aren't you? Can't- An angel, you say? There's no angel here. I can't see her. I know you can. You're just in denial. You just don't want to admit the fact that a woman who died because of you has gone on to become an angel. What are you talking about? I don't understand. Talk to him, Thief Angel. Can you hear me? That... that voice is... Yes, 
It's me, Artina. I'm right here. Th that's impossible! It's not. You've been deceiving your own eyes and heart. The woman who stands here is none other than Artina. She has watched over you ever since she died. She has tried to speak to you countless times to save you from your own curse. But her voice never reached your ears. Now, that voice is desperate and pleading. Mr. Werewolf. It's as if he's seen it himself. I'm rather impressed by my servant. Artina! Artina! That's right, Artina is here. She doesn't wish for you to destroy the world. Your actions are only breaking her heart. Artina! Artina! Benfen is right! Please don't do anything more to hurt Artina! Miss Artina is right here with us! Please believe us, Mr. Nemo! Yeah, just believe in her, and you'll be able to see her! Artina! Artina! Ah! Uh-oh! He's breaking down! Don't you dare speak her name, demons! Only I am worthy of calling out her holy name! I, who dedicated my life to exact retribution for her death, am the only one who can utter her name! Please stop! I don't wish for any of this! No! You're lying! That's not true! Damn! I suppose my words weren't enough to tame his malice. You can't trick me! I'm gonna destroy the world! I'll kill you all! Bastard! Are you saying that you're even going to kill Artina? Miss Artina is dead! Humans and demons are both responsible for killing her! Ah! 
Brace yourself. Here I come. It's my turn. Here I come. My life was saved by Miss Artina. So, I'll dedicate my entire life to punishing all human beings and the entire world. That's, that's my atonement. He's done. He's becoming fanatical. He won't listen to our words. Looks like we shouldn't have mentioned Miss Artina. We might have to just defeat each malice we find, one at a time. No. We have to make him acknowledge Artina's existence in order to break him. He must admit that Artina, the main purpose for his vengeance, has reappeared as an angel. If he understands the truth, that revenge is not what Artina wants, then his actions and his very existence will be invalidated. Such mental damage will be much more effective than any physical damage could ever be to Judge Nemo. You may be right, but... Is that why you were being really nice to him? Why else? My only intentions were to cause him pain and to destroy him from the onset. That aside, I agree that making Nemo acknowledge Artina's presence is the best way to stop him. Yes, I agree as well. If we can make him do that, we'll be able to tame the power of malice. If we can control his malice, the power of Fear the Great will be weaned off, and that will be our chance to attack. Excellent. I will do whatever it takes to make him believe that she is an angel. 
Mr. Vampire. <laughs> Mr. Balzi is the only demon who would fight to make someone believe in angels. Desco, you're wrong. Valsy isn't fighting for the sake of angels. He's fighting for the sake of Artina. But he probably won't admit it. Oh, and neither will Fen Fen. Persistent, annoying, stubborn, irritating, bothersome bastards! Jeez, don't be so mean! You won't disappear! You won't die! I can't kill you! Whoa, he's really pissed now! Unforgivable! Unacceptable! I'll kill you! You're gonna die! Be gone! This is ridiculous! We have to make him see Artina as soon as possible! This is the malice? The core of Fear the Great? What intensity! I feel like I'm being crushed by the sheer weight of malice. Hmm. Is he finally ready to settle this? Excellent! I accept the challenge! Uh, me, me too! I'm not gonna lose! Desco won't either! Miss Artina's heart will reach Mr. Nemo! Yes! For Artina's sake, I won't let you destroy this world! I will stop you, no matter what! Shut up! Stop saying her name! Miss Artina wouldn't become an angel! I won't believe that! Please believe us! I'm right here! Right here in front of you! Shut up! Shut up! I can't hear you or see you! You're just one of the demons! He... he heard me! I won't approve of anyone! Demons! Angels! I won't! I won't forgive you! Die! Disappear! I'll destroy you! Shut up! I admit that we demons have neglected our responsibilities and brought confusion to the lives of many humans. I pay my respects to your dedication and devotion, even after your body has perished. That being said, Judge Nemo, I'm going to defeat you, to bring Hades to the world and restore them to how they're supposed to be. And finally, to keep the promise I made, to protect the one I could not! Mr. Vampire. Ah, he totally said it! He declared to protect her! Go, Bowsy! A confession of his love! Desco doesn't know why, but her energy is a million times higher now! What is this? I'm kind of getting a tingling too. No, it wasn't like that. Don't you dare misunderstand what I meant! The promises I made, so it has nothing to do with Artina. But I'm going to protect us. Oh yes, that's right. Sardines! I can't let sardines die off with the rest of the world! I said I'm going to protect sardines! Hey! Are you guys listening to me? No, not a single soul, my lord. And it's all because of your careless comment. Yeah. I have no idea what's going on now. Get ready, Judge Nemo! I'll make you see through your blinded eyes! Here I 
Now wake yourself up, Judge Nemo. I know you can see Artina. Can you hear me? No! Can you see me? No! I can't see anything! I don't believe you. Please, just believe in my words once more. Just like you did back when you were a ragged soldier. <gasps> Miss Artina, you're really... Yes, please open your heart to me. I'm right here. I... I can see... I can see you. You're... You're really an angel now. That's correct. Martina became an angel after she died. She watched over you and tried to guide you, even though saving you was the reason she was killed. Even though she was called a thief in the netherworld, she fought a lone battle to stop you from destroying the world. That's absurd! How could she- Yes, I too did not believe it at first, but that is the truth. For 400 years, she watched over you and wept, the helplessly pure angel. But that's Artina. <laughs> I'm a bit offended to hear that from you, Mr. Vampire, who refused to drink blood because of a promise he made to a lady. Ah, uh, so I just didn't notice. I didn't know Miss Artina was watching over me all this time. 
I have been such a fool. And I knew. I knew what I was doing wasn't going to make her happy. But I... I just couldn't forgive the humans. Nor the demons. But now I see. She knows what I've been doing all this time. I'm the biggest fool here. And I've made Miss Artina sad once again. Nemo! Wait! Are you running away? He's gone. The malicious tension in this area is slowly starting to lighten. Then, did we defeat Fear the Great? That's what it looks like. By the way, it was my lord, Valvatores, not we. Yay! My dream rocks! This dream is awesome! I saved the world! Now I just have to become a ruler of the world and fill this place with hot studs and tuxes and it'll be a perfect happy ending! Desco is glad Big Sis is happy, but she's not so sure about having saved the world as a final boss. I did it, Father! Now the Netherworld will be saved! But is everything really over? It's really over. Please, don't worry, Miss Artina. Both Fear the Great and I will disappear now. Don't worry. What? Disappear? I'm so sorry, Miss Artina. I'm sorry. What is he trying to do? I think he's going to remove his soul along with Fear the Great. As long as Fear the Great's power keeps getting weaker, the possessed soul will return to Limbo as well. Not even to Hades, huh? To complete nothingness. To Limbo, for capital punishment, from where he will never reincarnate. He deserves it, I guess. What? Considering what he's done, I think he deserves to be tortured even more. Desco agrees with Big Sis. He shouldn't be allowed to just disappear. You want to save him, don't you? Huh? No, I didn't say that. You don't have to pretend. I can tell by the look on your face. Huh? Save him? That's ridiculous. If he is allowed to be saved, then what about all the lives that were lost because of him? Should we go back in time and save them too? He's a helpless fool. A fool who chose to perish because he couldn't bear his own weakness. And you say that you want to save him? Who do you think you are, almighty god? What you're trying to do is the epitome of hypocrisy. You know, you could be right. It might just be for my own satisfaction. What he's done is not something that can be forgiven. The weight of his sins is immeasurable. But that's exactly why I don't want him to be able to take the easy way out by simply disappearing. His sins may not be paid off for centuries. Perhaps it would take more than 400 years. But he must be made to face them. More than 400 years? You're pretty harsh, Artina. You know, that is the worst thing you could ever do to him. Fine. Let's give him the punishment he so rightly deserves. And what would that be? What do you think? Turn him into a prinny, of course! I'll re-educate him thoroughly! As a prinny instructor! Lord, that is an excellent idea. Considering his sins, it will definitely take more than 400 years to pay them off. The soul of a dead villain pays off his sins as a prinny. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Just like you, right? Hey, I'm not a villain, dead, or a prinny! I'm up for that idea, though. It's what you're supposed to do when you commit crimes in this world. Desco has no objections either. The problem is, how are we gonna save him? To save him, we must peel his soul away from Fear the Great before they perish together. Then let's go! To save his soul before Fear the Great perishes! And to guide him down the path he deserves most! As a prinny! <laughs>